All right, today we're going to go through the team test. I'm going to actually do it in two different videos. Uh, this part is going to be the retake part. And this is going to be its actual own separate test that will be on Wednesday. Okay. This is going to be the summative and this is going to be the formative and both of these will be your test on Friday as long as we have school. Okay. So I'm going to do a video of just the retake portion and then I will do a video of the summative and formative portions, um, but I'm going to do it in two separate videos. So the first one here is going to be the retake part. Um, and I'll post this actually probably again closer to Wednesday as well. So uh, don't get confused here. I know we've been talking about logs, but the key here is we're wanting a simpler equivalent form. So here we can divide out a log on both sides. Boom, boom, cancel. We get absolute value of x plus 3 is equal to 7. This should be much easier for us to solve. So we're going to set up our two equations. Plus 3 equals negative 7 and solve. Don't forget, you do have to have two of these for absolute value. And we get x equals 4 and x equals negative 10. But next one, we've seen this type of problem a lot as well. It's all about just trying to get it into a form or showing you different forms of it. So here we're just showing a plus b squared is the same as a plus b times a plus b double distribute a squared plus a b plus a b plus b squared combining a squared plus 2 a b plus b squared this is not equal to a squared plus b squared okay and again we've seen this on almost every test we've seen it on almost every practice test Next one here, factoring. Okay. Uh, we need to factor when we are equal to 0, so we're going to have to subtract 3x over. Gives me 6x squared minus x plus 3 equals 5. You could very well do this all in the same step. 6x squared minus x minus 2 is equal to 0. I'm going to do my big x method. Here, a does not equal 1, so I get negative 12x squared, negative 1x factors, negative 4x, positive 3x. Don't forget, when a is not 1, you got to do step 2. Remember, this is a times c. This is my b term. So I have my a term, 6x squared, pick a factor, minus 4x. So I have a plus factor plus factor plus c, 3x minus 2. What can I pull out? So I can pull out a 2x, leaves me 3x minus 2. That is what I have, so I'm just going to pull out a 1, 3x minus 2. I want these two to be the same. So my factored answer, 2x plus 1, 3x minus 2, equals 0. Set up both cases because we are also solving this. So I have 2x plus 1 equal to 0. I have 3x minus 2 equal to 0. And then we're just solving. So minus 1 minus 1. 2x equals negative 1. Divide 2. I can jump down here. x equals negative 1 half. And the same here with this one. Add 2. Add 2. 3x is equal to 2, divide 3, divide 3, x is 2 thirds. I'm going to go through these pretty quick. Rewatch them if you need to. Um, pause them if you need to. Uh, make sure you're doing an okay job. Last part here of the retake is the rationals part. Um, and so here we go. First one's just simplifying. I can pull out an x on top, leaves me x plus 6, that's a GCF. 
this one factors as well. You can do the big X if you want. This is a difference of perfect squares. X plus 6, X minus 6. X plus 6 cancel. And I get X over X minus 6. You don't really need parentheses there, but there we go. Next one, division. We're going to do a keep change flip. So I have x plus 1 over x squared. This actually factors as well. I'm going to have x plus 1, x minus 1 times uh, x squared. x squared plus 1 does not factor over x plus 1. Careful here. We are wanting to cancel. I can cancel these. I cannot cancel the x squared and the x plus 1s, but I can cancel those. So I end up with x squared plus 1 over really x squared minus 1. Or you could write this as x squared plus 1 over x plus 1, x minus 1. Either one of those is fine. And the last one, adding or subtracting. We need that common denominator. So when I have that, okay, I have x minus 4, x plus 1. Over here, I only have the x plus 1. So I need to multiply by the x minus 4 on top and bottom. First one's going to stay the same. 3 over x minus 4, x plus 1, plus, I can distribute this right away. I have 6x minus 24 over x plus 1, x minus 4. Now we're combining like terms. So I can combine my positive 3 and negative 24. I get 6x minus 21 over x plus 1, x minus 4. That is what your retake will look like. Again, all of these rationals are fair game. Simplifying, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. Make sure you are comfortable with all of those. If you have other practice tests uh, from the past, you should have lots of those as well. As we get in the next part, we're going to uh, be looking at um, some of the other parts here of the test with the equations and inequalities. So I'm going to do that in a separate video.